Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you this look right here. Obviously it's red, white, and blue, so we're going for the 4th of July. I have my little flag back here for inspiration. Not really. But I'm just going to show you how to get this wearable yet bright kind of festive look with the red lips and the silvery eyes and the blue eyeliner it's just really something you can actually recreate on your own i just had some fun sitting down with them in this for you guys i'm also going to share with you an outfit idea that i think would be really cute most of these things you can find in the drugstore some are high end but anyway you can make you can make this either way with all drugstore or all high end if you're new and you like this video don't forget to subscribe i'll put the link right here and go check out all my other videos and make different types of videos um don't forget to give this a thumbs up if you enjoy this video i actually put a lot of hard work into it even though you may not like my makeup look um, <coughs> roxy even though you may not like my makeup look just you know give me a thumbs up for effort so i hope you guys enjoy your fourth of july and i hope you maybe recreate this look and if you do just comment down below or follow me on Instagram and tag me in your post. Um, I would love to see your recreation. So without further ado, let's get into the video. First we're going to start off with the foundation. I already primed my face. It's ready to go. I'm going to take the Milani 2-in-1 um, foundation concealer with my damp um, Real Technique Beauty sponge thingy. I just usually take two pumps on the back of the hand and blend it out. Okay, now that the foundation is finished, we're going to go in with a concealer. My favorite one at the moment is the Bare Minerals Complete Coverage Serum Concealer. After concealing every spot that I just highlighted slash concealed, I will go over with my Cody Airspun Loose Face Powder Original, the original formula, and Translucent Extra Coverage. So, it's a loose powder. I just take a bit on my um, Wet Beauty Blender, and then I tap a little under the eye. I'm going to set the forehead, the nose, and the chin. Now that my face is set, I'm going to go on to eyebrows. The eyebrow pencil I'm going to be using today is by NYX. It is in dark brown eye pencil crayon. They have a lot of eyebrow pencils. I'm not exactly sure what the name of this one is. It's just an eyebrow pencil. And this part is the little brush thingy. But I don't like this brush, so I use my spoolie off of my L'Oreal or my old Anastasia one, whichever one is closest. So I just use the pencil in this and then I use the spoolie from another brush. I start off by outlining the top and the bottom and then I just fill it in. to line my eyebrows with concealer and just blend it out with my hand. Today I'm going to use my Lorac Pro 3 palette and there's a shadow in this eyeshadow palette that my friend left at my house and I'm thinking about using it. It's in her Buxom palette but this silver eyeshadow right here looks like it'll go great with this look so let's try that. So I've already primed my eyes and I'm going to go straight in with this silver um, eyeshadow and I do not know the name of it. Let's see. I'm going to go in with Pure Platinum. I'm assuming that's the name of it. So, Pure Platinum is my Buxom. 
I'm going to take a flat brush so I can pick up as much pigment. And I'm going to focus this just on the center of my eyes. That's intense. Crazy, right? Now I do want to make this a wearable look, so we're going to tone it down. Out of the palette, I'm going to use terracotta, which is this brown shade. Blend until it looks the way you want it to look. I'm trying to blend out a little bit more of that silver so that it can be a little bit more natural. Okay, so the eyes look a little bright, but they'll look better when you put your lashes or your mascara on. So, I'm thinking this is pretty good. I don't want to add more shadow, but I do want to add a good blue since, you know... My dog is walking in the background. You probably hear her nails chomping on the ground. Um, we're going to use a nice blue to bring out the red, white, and blue. The silver is the white. This is by Wet n Wild Cream Shadow Pencil. We're going to use this as an eyeliner. It's got a little shimmer in it. So we have the blue one, we have the silver on. If you want, if you, it's not bright enough for you yet, you can add a white in your um, tear duct to brighten your eye a little bit more. This one's by Essence. It is in Snowflake. Cute. I'm going to take this tapered brush by MAC 210. Okay, now that the eyes are brightened up all the way, we're going to do our mascara. I like the duo, the primer and the mascara by Urban Decay Perversion. The bigger, blacker, better mascara. And this one is the Perversion Primer. And now that they're primed, we're going to go in with the black mascara. You can do your fake eyelashes. I was going to do fake eyelashes, but this is just for like, you know, easy makeup for the fourth. For bronzing, I'm going to use my Revolution one that I hauled a couple of weeks back with my Real Technique brush. This is a really big brush, so um you could use a smaller one. I do have a smaller one, but I just didn't bring it with me, so we're just going to use this one. I'll be like bronzer, not contour. If your bronzer or contour or whatever goes out of line, I'm sure you all know this trick to use your... Use your translucent powder and take your beauty sponge and just line it up where you would have liked it to have stayed. After a few seconds, you'll be good to go. Just swipe it off with any brush you have. Next, we're going to do blush and I'm going to use my Milani one in Romantic Rose. now after you wipe away your contour not your contour but the powder you it will be like a little bit of a stronger line for highlight I forgot to put on my cream before my powder so I messed up but I'm just gonna use it anyway because this um, highlighter isn't as goldy as my other ones so I'm just gonna pop this one right here and then I'm going to set it with my Lorac one in daylight
So we're going to set that highlight with my Lorac Daylight Highlight. Daylight Highlight. This one is goldy, but it's more on the cooler side of it, so we're going to I forgot to set my brows. I'm going to set it with the Give Me Brow. No, sorry. Make Me Brow by Essence. Everything is done except for the most important part, the lips. So for the lips, we are going to use a red, obviously. This is in... Mm, 705 750 this is in the color seven this is by Dior and I love the packaging it's just so cute I think I got it when they had a um, Christmas special or something I don't know if this is a regular packaging I only have one lipstick from them so I just thought it was like a beautiful color so we're going to use this red in 750 This look went well together. I'm pretty surprised with how it turned out. You got your blue, you got your white, and you got your red. Yay! So, I'm going to finish by setting my face with the Mario Badesco Skin Care. Facial spray with aloe herbs and rose water. I'm almost out. It was like $5 at Ulta, so I got another one. For my outfit, I got this little romper from a boutique, so I'm not sure where you could find it from, but the name of it is Hyfe, H-Y-F-E-V. I got it in a size medium. You can also wear this outfit with these shoes, which are Sperry's. I This is more of a going out look, but if you want to dress it down a little casual, you can wear these. You can also add a cute headband like this one. You can find it at Walmart, Target, anywhere, whoever sells headbands, a hair store, probably even Ulta has one. It's very inexpensive and it's just a cute way to spruce up your outfit. And I just tied it in the back with my hair just to hold my hair back. But today I wanted to share with you some very exciting news. Um, what, what was, it was about Thursday. 